Hello. It is Thursday, August 15th, 2019, around 6 p.m. Uh, not that the, really the time is important. Um, and this is the lower body workout. Do not waste your time watching this unless you have a very specific reason to. And the reason I say that is because... This will probably be boring unless you have a very specific reason to. And if you have a very specific reason to, please, for the love of all things, careful and good, uh, be willing to um, fast forward or watch it in high speed, uh, playback speed. To, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, there's two spots up here. If you're watching if it's through an application, there should be three dots somewhere around there. You press the three dots. There'll be a section that, in the drop-down menu that says playback speed. Click playback speed, and then there'll be another section that says what speed uh, at the bottom should be two, and then times. Two times is the fastest it goes. Welcome to going as fast as it can. If it's on the browser, there should be a gear around the bottom there somewhere, and uh, same thing. Click on that. Playback speed, two. So that should help you out then. That being said, I'm going to try to be kind of fast with this one. I have to make this one under an hour. So I'm going to do the breathing exercises. We'll be specifically in nose, out mouth, uh, kind of aggressive with that. Uh, also, the breakdown of the workout consists of a warm-up and then the actual exercises. The exercises themselves, there will be five and a breath exercise in between each, except for the last exercise, which is just kind of you know, all in one go, no specific breath exercise after that. The exercises are, well, I'll go through the warm-up first. The warm-up consists of some exercises that are good for the back that my dad likes. That's the, the, the best way to start the warm-up with a pre-warm-up, pretty much. Then it is three L-shaped chin-ups, four glide-downs, seven incline, um, not incline, but inverted sit-ups or upside-down sit-ups, and then there is 13 push-ups, seven air squats, and six bends. That concludes the warm-up onto the actual exercise. Start out with a breathing exercise and a breathing exercise in between. Every single exercise, every single exercise changed until the last exercise. The first exercise on lower body is squats on the squat machine. There is going to be a set of eight. Lower the weight, set of 10, then a possible bonus, which is me getting my butt to the ground, making sure I have full mobility with a, maybe a dumbbell or two. Just normal squats without the machine, just to see, just to have a feeling. I don't know how many reps of that I'll do, just to, just to get the feeling for it to make sure I'm getting uh, fullest extension out of my squats because the machine doesn't quite get there. The next exercise on that is Romanian deadlifts. Two uh, sets of that, set of eight, lower the weight, set of 10. Third exercise is leg extension. Uh, it ups a little bit there, the set of 10, lower the weight, set of 12. Next exercise is single leg calf raise, set of 10, lower the weight, set of 12. And the, to get weight on the single calf weight, leg calf raise, just hold a dumbbell, pretty simple. And last exercise is laying down lateral leg raises. That one has no breathing exercises pretty much in between, no specific breathing exercises. Uh, it's a set of 15, then four sets of five. Lightweight, real easy, no shifting in weight. It's kind of a speed round on that one. Okay, speaking of speed rounds, let's get this thing started and done. How long was I talking? Entirely too long. Okay. War the pre-warm-up to the warm-up. So, or this is actually just a good exercise on its own, but to make it in the pre-warm-up range, I'm only going to do about four repetitions. So, one, two, three, four. Shoulder shrugs. One, two, three, four. Frontal raises. One, two, three, four. Lateral raises. One, two, three, four. Four. On to L-shaped chin-ups. Fun for the whole family. Get yourself, I'm going to try to get a really solid L-shape in here and thumbs over the top of the bar. One. Two. Go all the way down. Three. 
The cool thing is all I have to do is do that to get started. Just that little edge. Um, so get used to one thing that was hard for me a, a while back, not necessarily right now, is going from fullest extension to get that started. And without momentum, just getting that little turn. It's not even much of a lift, it's just a little bend in the elbows. Everything's straight, little bend in the elbows. Once that happens, it's kind of easy to get going. A lot of downs. One. The longer you take on this, I guess the better it is. Speed round, you know. Two. Three. Here's the last one. Four. All right, inverted sit-ups. So we grab the trusty, rusty gravity boots. Get them nice locked up. Oh. A little stretch there too. Good thing about inverted sit-ups, really good excuse to throw out some meaningful stretches. Continue this a little bit of scene change. Don't need the lights on in here. Whew. Feeling good about this. It's this a good batch of working out. Even though I'm going fast, I'm not gonna go too fast. I'm gonna feel good about all this fun stuff. Alright. Probably the idea to actually turn on a light there we go oh almost had the frame right all right so 13 push-ups squats pretty simple two three four five six seven bends really simple one two three four Five, six. Okay. That concludes the warm up. Let's get to the actual exercises with the breathing exercise being first. Whew. I already set up most of the weights for this stuff. So, how are we doing on time? Not bad. Okay. All right. Okay, so 
there's been a request for me to do more than just workout videos. Or technically, I, I, calling this a workout video is kind of not really the right phrasing. It's more about accountability. Like, the biggest part about this is my accountability. That's a big part to why I... Technically, I don't want anybody else really, besides the few people that I'm accountable to, watching this. And the good news is some of my friends really kind of go the extra mile and hold me accountable. Oh, by the way, speaking about accountability, did not do a workout on Tuesday because looking for an excuse. No, could find an excuse. I'm lazy. Um, anyway, breathing exercise. Frame's good. But yeah, more videos of different stuff, maybe. We'll see. Like I said, I was too lazy to even do the workout on Tuesday. So, you know, there's that. Actually, according to the script, I pushed that a little bit more than I'm used to. So that was breaking new ground. Was able to get to eight without too much of a problem. Seems kind of smooth on my end. Although I think there was a couple times I did not go to the furthest extension that the machine allowed me. I'm gonna go ahead and do that bonus round right now just to kind of get it out. What that is. I don't know if I'm in frame for this, but it doesn't really matter. Take like, yeah, this dumbbell's pretty good. Oh, take this. And I'm just gonna be squatting here on the ground. I'm gonna do like three or four, just all the way bottom. And bring up. Two. Three. Four. All right, it's not bad. Just making sure I'm getting the fullest extension. I used to be a big fan of not pushing, have this thing set up so it didn't quite go 90 degrees. Maybe I can get this a little bit further. I think I got the full. in the slot. Don't want that. Let's see, it goes to right there. So. Uh, now I just put myself in a bad situation. Too 
Okay, all right. So, not ideal. That's pretty much out of the way. I guess I could just... Oh, that feels so weird. Don't like that at all. Yeah, that's not... That's not good for anybody. But shoot, I'm gonna go do a set of 10. Three. Four. Five. This sucks. Seven. not effective. That's not really doing a lot for me. sledgehammer or something. Um, maybe grab the weight. There we go. Alright. That kind of worked. Brute force. know now how to fix it, sort of. that set of 10 again just with this because the other set of 10 was pretty much worthless all right so this is actually oh wow this is yeah that's just about right yeah that's that's exactly what I need two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna let it back real slow. Just let my muscles feel it. The creaking was not me, by the way. That was the actual machine. All right, good. This is better than it was before by a, a little bit, a little bit more of a bend in there. So I'm feeling good about that. Okay, uh, second exercise uh, after a breathing exercise is Romanian deadlift. Gotta go inside for that one. Woo, I'm happy. Weights are good for more than just lifting, apparently. I was gonna have to find a sledgehammer and all that kind of stuff and just gently tap with the sledgehammer. I knew it would have the momentum. Don't need to. It's something nice about clearing up unfinished business before it gets unfinished. All right. My same note to myself every single time on this exercise. Hips go backwards. A little bit of a breathing exercise. Sweating like a pig. Although I don't really, I don't know if I've really experienced pig sweat properly. Uh, not enough to really, really make that colloquialism uh, true to my life. Anyhow, okay, 
So, Hips go back, hips go back, and uh, one more time, hips go back. Set of eight, set of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did a set of 10. All right, next one's gonna be a set of 10 too, or as well. I think that breath exercise was really, really the correct exercise for this particular moment, this particular time. Breath exercise was good. Let's do another one. There's a point where breathing in so much gets a slight bit uncomfortable. It's a good place to go sometimes just to know you can get there. It's also, and a less slightly uncomfortable is breathing out to the fullest extent. And it almost seems there's always at least a little extra puff of air inside you. <sighs> like you can continually do that and just go down the ladder to the pit of infinity, I guess. But no, I, it, it can't be infinite, but your muscles can only do so much. And it's like, sometimes puffing out, there's a little bit just comes right back in. So maybe that's it. Just my little hypothesis about that. <clears throat> there was something else I was thinking of before starting the breath, or during the breath exercise that I probably should comment on. I can't remember what that thing is. It was something about, oh, yeah, I'm being very, very careful not going up on the weights on this one, so that's part of the reason why I probably could do a little bit more weight, just a tiny bit more weight, and uh, be fine with this exercise, but I am not going to chance injury, and from what I understand, um, this kind of exercise, the remaining deadlift and stuff like that, uh, lower back injury is uh, one of those weird possibilities, and I've had... Um, lower back injury, not from Romanian deadlifts, but just from different things in life. And sometimes you don't feel it for a day. Oh, and then you went back and like, oh, I did feel something slightly strange, but it wasn't uncomfortable. And then two days later, you are in pain and then in pain for a, a long time. And I say pain, like at the moment, it does not like, it's not acute, like I'm on fire type pain, but there is this chronic just muscle goofiness that, that just goes throughout your whole body and everything you're doing and it's just, you, you can't be unconscious enough. <laughs> and every time you wake up, if you're like me, I wake up a lot, I turn over, I move because I don't want my body to get stiff and my back to hurt. Um, if I stay in one position too long, it's guaranteed something will hurt when I wake up. Uh, and sometimes too long is six hours, sometimes too long is eight hours. Sometimes too long is four hours, depending upon the position. So just switching out positions because I don't naturally move when I sleep is a wonderful idea for me. So that's my protocol. 
which is not a bad deck of cards to be dealt, or not a bad uh, dealing of cards. I'm wearing, I'm going to use cards as the analogy. It's not a bad situation to be in. It's just something I have to monitor and be mindful of. So, I'm, don't worry, I'm not complaining about anything. Hopefully I'm the last person in the world, especially in my life right now, to complain about anything. <sighs> so many people deal with so much heavier burdens and more pain than I will ever know. And I have nothing for those respect, nothing for respect, but nothing but respect for those folks. And uh, just a lot of hopes and oh, goodwill mentally going their way. And how dare I, how dare I chicken out and do something, you know, get too pathetic when some, so many others are silently uh, bearing their burdens that are heavier than mine without complaint. <clears throat> I guess that's it for the gratitude portion of the show. No, actually not it for the gratitude portion of the show be gratitude whole way through and that sounds obnoxious but I'm gonna do it nonetheless thank you weights let's do a set of ten one two three four five six seven eight nine Ten. All right. Not bad. I, I had a feeling I felt it in my back and my hamstrings, like right behind. And, uh, but I know my back. I'm 89% certain my back's not going to hurt anytime soon from that. <clears throat> Breathing exercise. reminder to myself about those extra videos that might be uh, wanted by very, very few people in the world, um, but dear-hearted and wonderful people at that. Um, I might do the, uh, <laughs> uh, I might do a video about snacks, and it's kind of sad because I am uh, phasing out complex carbohydrates from my diet. Basically, I'm not going to go to zero like I did with caffeine, but I am going to go to Hopefully, my goal is two complex carbohydrates and, uh, and within a, a week. That's gonna be my goal. That's gonna be like a year from now. Everything's going really, really slow. I saw a video, guy, a video of a guy transforming his, his body to, from amazing, you know, from broken up, leg braces, all sorts of bad stuff to like amazing in like a year using things like yoga and I, I, I don't remember what else he was doing. There was definitely him doing yoga. There was definitely him doing maybe some sort of gymnastics, headstands, handstands, things like that. Um, probably should pay attention to what actually he was doing, but uh, yeah, he went from, he lost hundreds of pounds. And uh, I know if I lost hundreds of pounds, I would uh, not exist, um, but at the end of it, uh, his shape was good. I mean, life is not a comparison journey, and I don't like judging and judging anything. Pretty much, I don't have to judge. Uh, staying away from judgment, if possible, unless I really have to. And there, there are judgments we have to make, you know, every day. Uh, but basically, leveraging my mind, like, hey, doesn't matter one one way or the other what I think about that, or you know. But um, comparison, that's the you know, judgment's one thing. Like, I'm judging, okay, this route's probably going to be better than this route. But comparison, comparing somebody else's life to yourself. Um, I can't remember what it was. I think envy was the thief of joy or comparison was the thief of joy. Anyway, my belief on that is, uh, I don't remember that quote, but I remember my belief. 
And my belief is this, is like, if somebody's a lot better than you at some particular thing, and then you feel bad because you're not as good as that person. And that, that's kind of false. That doesn't help you increase in this thing that you care about. If you really care about it, you'll increase your abilities about that. Or if it's something value to you, you'll increase your abilities about it, no problem. But if someone's really below you and you're comparing yourself to that person, then you're also robbing yourself because your progression will be stunted because you have this feelings of superiority. So feelings of inferiority may lead to stunted growth and feelings of superiority may lead to stunted growth. So the only one you're racing against is you. And that seems to be, hopefully, one of the, the best ways to a healthy progression. And I say healthy progression because sometimes you can progress further uh, using the comparison model and with feelings of inferiority and you know it's good but I'd rather call the shots if I'm gonna make myself you know reduce myself down to zero and create bedrock and create a foundation and build from there uh, I'm gonna be the architect of that that psychological disturbance um, and there's better ways to do that than comparing you can even do that you can reduce yourself down to zero by comparing yourself against yourself and just looking at it at the right frame of mind without having the, yeah, you can feel inferior. You can feel inferior to your potential, the person that, but actually direct it into another human being, another thinking entity. Um, just seems like a, a, a recipe for bad habits, bad mental habits, bad mental tools. There's, there, there seems to be much better mental tool, mental processes and mental tools uh, out there, at least as it comes to me. I don't know about the rest of the world, but I'm starting to learn more and more how I function, which is, hey, part of this great, wonderful journey. All right, a lot of talking for, uh, yeah. All right, good news is we only have three more exercises left, and they're not too bad, so. Actually, none of this is too bad. This is, this is all, all pretty smooth, no complaints. No complaints at all. And even that, uh, um, problem right over there on the, the squat machine was an education. So sweet. And we also took care of the, the problem and now it's, it's better than it was before. I already set it up ahead of time. I'm going to just do quick breaths because talking too much. One, two, three. This is when we go up to ten. Four, five, six. Definitely feeling it. Seven, eight. Nine. Ten. All right. That's some good stuff right there. Lower the weight, a little bit of breathing, and set of 12. so easy and something happened 10 maybe that was 10 let's do 13 just in case especially for the breaks 11 12 oh come on now come on straighten uh, almost got a leg cramp on that straighten not the worst thing in the world, but I don't know if you've ever had a leg cramp. It's, it's not too fun. If you ever want to feel a leg cramp and you haven't, take your calf, lay down, uh, face down, 
take your calves, both calves, and just extend your legs straight like that, point your toes, then try to uh, flex your calf muscles, and it'll almost cause a, sometimes it'll cause a spasm that'll lead into a leg cramp. It's definitely not a, not a good feeling. Um, but yeah, I almost did that with that. So don't want to go that intense, but I felt like, yeah, I, I felt like I should be able to do this. Um, comparison is the thief of joy, right? Uh, man, I was comparing to what I should be able to do to what I am actually doing. So in other words, I was not being intuitive there. If I am too sore tomorrow, or too sore the day after, sometimes it takes two days, um, I will know that's the problem if, if I'm sore, you know. Sore is not necessarily a bad thing, but chronic soreness, like I would like to have it actually alleviate and just enough so my body gets good at handling it. So I don't want to go too much into that realm. Oh yeah, standing's funny. Woohoo! Extensions, single leg calf raise. Okay, single leg calf raise after a tiny bit of breathing. Set of 10, set of 12. Uh, we're gonna go left leg first on this one. Get to suck some wind for a bit. Not big on the breathing exercise because I'm going a little too long on this workout than anticipated. A little too much talking. One, two, three, four, five, six. Losing balance. Get the right balance. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Right leg. Do it again. One. Two, three, four, there's a balance. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feel a little strong on that one. I know I can't go down as far as I do with like the parking blocks, but uh, not too bad. All right. Interesting feeling right there. Okay, last exercise. Heading inside. Still walking funny. Leg day. I remember when leg days used to get me nauseous. But I did a little, a little different stuff then. Had some friends pushing me. And that was interesting. So yeah, the social aspect is kind of fun about working out, but I can say I can live without it. Having a workout last three hours, but it seems like you only did, well, these workouts. Maybe I do 20 hours, 20 minutes worth of actual lifting, but I do a lot of breathing and talking.
So we're gonna do left leg first because that's what was closest. Pretty simple here. I lay down on the ground. I wipe whatever just fell off of my head off the ground. Not terribly comfortable. Surprisingly though, I'm putting my heads, my heads, my head on top of dumbbells. And uh, dumbbells as a pillow is not so bad. So there's something, there's something wonderful about that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm actually crossing over kind of hurts. Seven, eight, I'll do that nice and slow. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, now, set of five. One, two, three, four, five. Second set of five. One, two, three, four, five. I wonder how long it would take me. I did a thing recently where I did it in a, in a period of days. Maybe it was a month. I don't remember exactly how long it was, but to do a hundred chin-ups. Cause I've read at least about two people. And I think they were both Navy SEALs. Uh, what they would do as part of their workout is they would just, hey, a hundred chin-ups, but not in one set. Just, and the way they would do it is just like, I'm gonna do a, as many chin-ups as I feel, and then I'm gonna pause, and then I'm gonna wait, and then I'm gonna do another set of whatever number. And they would just keep on stacking up the numbers. So if it was like 10, cool. If it was like three, cool. Just keep on adding up the numbers till they got to 100. I wonder if I could do that in one standing. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I'd like to believe I can, um, but yeah, I don't, I really don't do too many sets of uh, chin-ups into the double digits. And imagining doing like just 10 sets of 10, it's just like, oh. But that's why I need to get stronger. One, two, three, four, five. Wait a second, did I just make a cardinal mistake? Compare myself to another human being? Just, well, no, it's really seeing something that I thought was possible and wondering if it's within my realm of possibilities too. Um, the real thing I'm wondering is, I believe it's within my realm of possibilities. I just wonder if it would break my comfort zone so much that I would dread doing it. And that's its own good thing. Um, there's something very comfortable about intermittent fasting, like uh, breaking that comfort zone. So maybe this is another comfort zone that I could break as well. One, two, three, four, five. I think I got one more set of these and we're on to the next leg. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm on time as far as I need to be. I can do a quick shower and get out of here. Not a lot of talking at the end of this thing. Uh, sorry for that. I would love to believe the most important things for one person in particular out there is doing the breathing exercises with me. But this is not the video for that because the breathing exercises were not uniform, were not consistent. Uh, I did some weird transitions. I think I might have even skipped a breathing exercise or t possibly even two. <sighs> oh. Yeah, certainly feeling it. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Wow, really feeling it here. <laughs> Lightweight, 14, 15. Whew. Feels good just to bend the leg like that. Good stuff. 
One, two, three, four. There's five. I'm gonna bend the leg. Oh, that's an interesting stretch. Not gonna do too much of that. One, two, three, four, five. That, that good back stretch again. Not really the back. But anyway, whatever it's stretching, it feels good. One, two, three, four, five. I think I got one more of these, and then we're good for the day. One, two, three, four. Oh, come on now. Five. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there we go. All right. Good stuff. Happiness right now is no, I'm done with this. But there are some fun points doing it. I think we had a fun journey. I'm glad it was documented. And me kind of <sighs> running into a problem and solving it and not being the most elegant about it. But it got done. Nothing was hurt. And now we're in a better situation with the squat machine. It's more uh, in line with my, uh, my current belief system, which is, let's go past 90 degrees. So uh, yeah, my old belief system was, don't go past 90 degrees. Uh, now it's all about having your butt just about touch the ground. This is as far down as I can go and being able to have some weight. Let's pretend this is a lot of weight. And it's, just, you know, whatever, a lot of weight or a little weight. And being able to just use solely, just like that, just come up like that. Be able to squat weight in whatever form. And uh, one thing I did learn is, for health reasons, I'm believing what I'm going to do is I'm not going to be lifting up while I'm swinging the weight around or moving it and manipulating it or turning. I'm not going to do any turning while doing this because I think even without weight, yeah, it does feel kind of strange to turn. Yeah, I, don't, I, I definitely don't want to do that with weight. I think there could be some damage in there. Without weight, not so bad, but be careful, mindful, intuitive of my body. I still have to listen to my body a little bit more, learn more about it. But the good news is I've been doing this for almost a year, these, and uh, so far no injuries, so... That's the first time I've really gone into a workout program without getting injured. The good news is none of my injuries uh, have been permanent. A lot of torn muscles. A lot of torn muscles that have seemed like they've taken years to get back to 100% or 90% or just the point where I don't feel it anymore. Remember, there was one stomach one. Whew. Oh, my goodness. I was doing dumbbell flat bench, doing more weight than I should have. And uh, putting down, like I was just going, whoa. And I was, all right, time to put down the weight. And I put down the weight and I just, instead of just letting it go, and I had to turn and, uh, whew, not good. All right. Yeah, time is good. Time is on my side. All right. Later it shall be.